Hi, I'm James, and in today's video I'm taking a look at upgrading the memory and um, hard drive to an SSD on this HP 250G6 laptop. Our first task is just to remove the battery, so we need to clip this clip over to the right, as we already have, and push this to release the battery. Once we've done that, we have two screws underneath the battery here and as normal what I'm going to do is just as I take these out I'm just going to arrange them on my desk in the layout that they were removed in. Now this is actually a brand new laptop um, the customer this is going to wanted a 500 gig SSD so actually the most cost effective way of doing this was to buy a model with or the most in budget way for them to do this was to buy a model with a I think 500 gig hard drive or one terabyte hard drive and just upgrade it straight away uh, as there weren't really any 500 gigabyte options at the price point they wanted to pay. So we are taking these out one at the front here and so far all of these have been the same length so they should be interchangeable but I always just like to keep them separate. This one's on a bit of an angle, which is odd, but uh, yep, same as all the others. Now what we're going to do is just pop out the DVD drive. That's held by that screw there. And underneath that we don't have any clue, crew, screws, just some plastic clips. Um, and there are some hidden screws on this, so what we're going to do is just with a plastic pry tool, lift the end of the rubber feet. I'm not going to take them off completely because then it's a bit more of a pain just to stick everything back down and just take out each of these in turn. Uh, there is actually a service manual for this laptop which if I remember I will put a link in the description. If I don't just ask me in the comments because that is quite useful just if you're unsure of anything on the process of taking the laptop apart or if you want to go further than this guide covers uh, all the details are on there just as this is not my own laptop I'm only going to do the sort of required work on it I'm not going to fully strip it down And the front corner, last of all. With that done, we just want to flip the laptop over and just take a look. So what we need to do is pry front to back. It's actually the base that comes off the machine not the keyboard, but what we need to do is just pry in at the front here and just work our way around just releasing the little plastic clips very gently and up along the side And down the other side. It sometimes can help if you have a couple of these just to wedge one place, but this one seems to be coming okay with just the one. With that done, what we should be able to do now is if we flip it back over and lift holding down the top. What we need to do is start on this side because the ports on the others will stop it coming out cleanly. Ah, 
couple clips at the back here if we can get those. Okay, that may help. And then come along here. Should release the base now. And so with that done, we are now inside the laptop. And what we can see here is we have the hard drive, memory, so single four gig module fitted currently. We can also access the cooler, the fan, um, and heatsink if we ever needed to for any issues with that and the wireless card if that was ever needed to be replaced uh, we can see in here as well I believe this is available uh, with other GPUs installed other than just integrated graphics so that's silk screened on the main board um, we're not really going to go any further than that on this so what I'm going to do though is take my memory So we just have an additional 4 gigabytes of crucial memory going into the machine. Uh, I will put a link to this on Amazon in the description below. And we are just going to clip that in and press down to install. Now the hard drive looks to be held in with this little metal piece. So if we undo the one screw there, lift and just wiggle out from the connector. And now we have our replacement SSD, which is a 500 gigabyte SanDisk model. So to get this fitted, we just want to take off the two screws that hold this little mounting plate onto the hard drive. This hard drive is going to go into a USB caddy, we're just going to use it for for backups going forward. Uh, I wouldn't normally do working on this area but uh, easiest way just to demonstrate things without reframing everything. So pop the two screws into that to fix the plate onto the new drive. Now obviously we're going to have to install Windows onto this um, and I do have videos on how to set up a UEFI compatible installer. Again, I, if I remember, I will try to get those linked in. Um, and we're just going to slot the SSD into the connector there. And screw it on in. Um, looking at the board, I can't see... So there is, it looks possibly a silk screen where they could have... Yeah, JSSD and a mounting point. So there is silk screened on here an M2 point but there isn't one actually on the main board so you can't fit a M2 drive to this particular model. It's possible some of the models which come with an SSD installed do allow that uh, if they have that on the board. Perhaps some of the higher end models which have the GPU on there as well but you'd have to look at that on a case by case basis um, open up the machine and check or look at sort of specs for the system that you have in particular but with that done we're ready to get things reassembled so what we want to do is because the ports are on this end and we have the openings in the chassis we want to just hook that over the VGA output first then flip over the machine open it back up again and press all the fixings down into the chassis and apparently I'm popular on emails at the moment I should have muted that so with that done we are ready to get this machine fired up and Windows installed uh, obviously we've got the sc screws to put back into the back there but I don't think you need me to show you how to do that and slot in the CD drive. 
I hope you found this video useful. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. Thanks for watching.